Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the Snapchat QR code to the home screen of your iPhone. It is very simple to do, but there are some things you need to know about and have to have ready. And first, naturally, just make sure that you have Snapchat installed. I do have it, of course, but if not, just open up the App Store like that and look up Snapchat and just make sure that you download it to your iPhone like that. So this is the first step. The next step is to log in to your Snapchat account. It's not necessarily thing that it's not like it's not going to work without it, but make sure that you are logged in to like use it properly. The next step is to hold down anywhere on the home screen like this until everything just starts to shake. That means that you are in the edit mode. So once you are in the edit, just click on the plus icon in the upper left corner like that. And you can see my Snapchat QR code is already visible right there. So Snapchat the snap code with my name is already ready to be placed on my home screen. However, if it's not part of the like suggested widgets there, what you can do is to scroll down until you get through all of these suggestions and get to the list of all of the apps. Now, this is the list of all iPhone apps which you have installed on your phone, which offer widget. So it's sorted alphabetically. So just get down to the S and Snapchat is right here. So just click on Snapchat. And you can add the map of some of your friends. You can add the memories as a widget. You can add the memories in a different or larger format. But if you scroll all the way to the right, here is the snap code widget. So this is what it looks like. Just click on add it to the home screen. And this is your Snapchat widget. This is the Snapchat QR code added to the home screen. The way that it's useful is that someone else who's already like using Snapchat can simply just scan it with their Snapchat camera and get your personal ID or personal name right there. So that's very useful. This is how you can share it in between devices. That's very useful. And you don't even have to open up the app or anything. You have it as a widget on the home screen. So this is the whole point behind the widget. This is the whole way how it works. So the next thing I want to show you is this, by the way, which is the Fox Tech educational platform. It is free to join. It's linked down below in the description. And the reason it's created is because I know that basically nobody is using their iPhone to the fullest potential. This is why I created and put there a couple of different video editing courses, in-depth iPhone guides, more stuff being added in the future, how to set up iPhone fully. There is a community as well. So definitely go ahead and join it. It's free to do so. So go ahead and do that right now. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.